By default, Outline View shows the entire outline and all of its text, including body text. But Outline View does offer other viewing options. You can also work with an outline in other views. Let's take a look. Right now, we can see all outline levels. But if you only wanted to show only certain levels, you can choose an option from the Show pop-up menu, which is right here. Notice it says All Levels. I can choose three as an example. And it only shows up to level three. Notice these gray lines here. That's telling us that there's stuff under here that's hidden. In this case, it's some body text. In this case, it's level four headings. If I show up to level four, you'll see those headings come back. I can also go to level two and only show the two levels of headings. Let's go back to all levels. You can also collapse or expand just a single heading and its subheadings. You just want to double click the plus button in front of it. So I'm going to double click this and I've collapsed that. And if I double click it again, it comes back. And that doesn't just work on the first level heading. It also can work on lower level headings. So double click on the little plus and it collapses it or brings it back. If your document has a lot of body text, you might find it useful to hide all lines except the first line. To do that, you would just turn on this checkbox. And then any time there's body text, only the first line of that body text will show an outline view. If this formatting bugs you, if you don't want to see blue text or you don't like the italics or whatever, you can click this button here and it gets rid of the formatting. It's still formatted, the styles are still applied, levels one and two and three, the headings, body text, but you don't have to look at all that. I'm going to turn that back on. Now this is Outline View, which has all the tools that you need to work with your outline. But once your outline is finished, you might want to switch to Draft or Print Layout View to enter your body text and finish the document. So let's see what this looks like in Draft View. Notice that there's a page break here, and you're probably wondering, why is there a page break? There's only four lines on this page. The reason for that is that Word automatically formats its heading levels to stay with the next line. So all of these are headings, and they're all told to stay with the next line. And of course, in order to stay with the next line, they can't have a page break between them. So Word puts the page break anywhere it can, and in this case, it puts it right after the first time it's allowed to have a page break, which is right after normal. You can get around that by changing the formatting of the headings. Just to show you how to do that, you'd make sure that a heading is selected, pull down the Format menu, come to Paragraph, and over in Line and Page Breaks, you'd want to turn off this option. Now, if you turned off that option and made that part of the styles for each of the headings, you wouldn't have these weird page breaks. Now, I talk about styles and changing paragraph settings in other chapters, so if you're interested in doing that, you can look it up in those videos. So this is what it looks like in Draft View. This is what it looks like in Page Layout View. And again, you still have that page break. We could scroll through and we could see the other pages of the document. You can work with your document in Print Layout View, and you can also work with it in Draft View, or you can work with it in Outline View. It really doesn't matter. If you work in Draft or Print Layout View, and then later on you decide that you want to rearrange your topics, the easiest way to do it is to go back to Outline View and just drag them around. And I do this all the time. I also find it handy, as I work with a long document like a book, to go to a heading-only view to get the big picture of the book's organization. So as we've seen here, Outline View has additional tools for viewing your outline in a variety of ways. But just because you created the document in Outline View, it doesn't mean you're stuck there. When you're ready to write the text of your document, you can do it in the view you prefer, Draft or Print Layout View. Outline View is always available as a tool for reorganizing or reviewing your document structure.